Let's get started with book number one. The Hatmakers by Tamsin Merchant. This fantasy novel centers around a family of hatmakers. Their hats are magical and can change the moods and intentions of the wearer. 12-year-old Cordelia Hatmaker loses her father at sea, or does she? She calls on the Makers Guild to help her uncover the truth. Bootmakers, watchmakers, cloakmakers, and glovemakers all gifted with ancient secrets and skills passed down from generation to generation. Enjoy plot twists and colorful characters in this historically magical fiction. Book number two. Restart by Gordon Corman. This book is about second chances. Chase, the main character, falls off a roof and hits his head. He wakes up in the hospital and has to learn life all over again, starting with his name. When he returns to school, he discovers things about himself he's not proud of. He realizes that his past actions have impacted the way people respond to him today. It's a question of who he was and who he's going to be. Book number three. Jasper and Scruff by Nicola Colton. This early chapter book series is a laugh out loud tale of friendship. Jasper the cat has everything he could want, a fancy apartment, bow ties in every color and a large book collection. Then arrives a puppy called Scruff. Things don't go as planned as Jasper tries to make the Society for Exceptional Felines the Sophisticats. There's more than one adventure in this series. Book number four. When You Trap a Tiger by Tay Keller. The 2021 Newbery Medal winner for Best Book of the Year. When Lily and her family move in with their sick grandmother, a magical tiger straight out of Korean folk tales, arrives which prompts Lily to unravel a secret family history. Long ago, her grandmother stole something from the tigers, and now they want it back. With the help of family and friends, Lily must find her voice and the courage to face a tiger to save her grandma. Book number five. Your Place in the Universe by Jason Chin. Ever feel small? Read this book and you will definitely start to feel just how big our galaxy is and how small we are in it. What's bigger than an eight-year-old? An ostrich is bigger. What's bigger than an ostrich? A giraffe. California redwoods are bigger than a giraffe. And the Burj Khalifa in Dubai is bigger. Taller than any building? Mount Everest. But nothing is bigger than the universe. This nonfiction picture book tackles scale and scope. It just shows how much wonder there is out there if we just take the time to look. Book number six. Book number one in the Questioner's Chapter Book Series by Andrea Beatty. Rosie Revere and the Raucous Riveters is a spirited story about teamwork and perseverance. Rosie is no stranger to flops, fails, and catastrophes. After all, engineering is about not giving up. Rosie's aunts, who built planes in World War II, need help with a new invention. Rosie and her friends put their minds to work in this series about helping others by using science, technology, engineering, art, and math. Book number seven. The Year I Flew Away by Marie Arnold. Ten-year-old Gabrielle has to leave her friends and family in her beloved country of Haiti. Now in America, she's having a hard time learning English and is being teased by a bully because of her accent. She is magically offered the chance to have three wishes granted if she eats the tainted fruit of a sorceress. Gabrielle can't resist the temptation to fix all of her problems. But magic always comes with a price. Book number eight. Pizza and Taco Best Party Ever by Stephen Shaskin. Pizza and Taco are back at it again, but this time they're bored. Let's throw a party. Throw a party? Who should we invite? Cheeseburger? Awesome! Yeah. 
What could possibly go wrong? Check out other pizza and taco graphic novels too. Book number nine. Itch by Polly Farquhar. Isaac's sixth grade year gets off to a rough start. This novel takes a closer look at middle school misfits and misadventures. Moving to a new town, mom leaving for two months, and a tornado? No wonder he was getting the itch. It starts small, but it spreads, and soon it's everywhere. No wonder everyone calls him by that word. For everyone who's ever felt out of place, you'll root for him and be drawn into Itch's world immediately. Here's our last book, number 10. All 13, The Incredible Cave Rescue of the Thai Boys Soccer Team by Christina Suntornat. Winner of four awards, including the 2021 Newbery Honor Book. He misses his birthday party. His family grows worried as the evening goes on and he still doesn't show up. Calls are made among family members who then call friends and teammates. None of the boys had told their parents where they were going and soon the parents learn of their son's plans. Now the family's worry turns to real fear. When 12 young boys and their soccer coach become trapped in a flooded cave in Northern Thailand, the nation launched one of the biggest rescue operations in a race against Mother Nature. How long can a group of ordinary kids survive in complete darkness with no food or clean water? I encourage you to read this nonfiction book based on a true story of a life or death mission that changed the lives of many. I give these books a 10 out of 10. This is Miss Annette. I sure hope you enjoyed this book talk. Until next time, keep on reading.